Hey folks, this is Andrew Kloster, Colorado Field Advocate with Earthworks, and today I'm going to really quickly walk you through some of the main findings from our most recent round of fieldwork in Jackson County, Colorado in the beginning of May. And as usual, for those who may not be familiar with Earthworks and what we do, um, we use specially designed optical gas imaging cameras to document pollutants at oil and gas facilities that are invisible to the naked eye, mainly methane, which is a major greenhouse gas, and volatile organic compounds, which include many known carcinogens. This is our second round of field work in Jackson County in the last year. We were also in Jackson County in October of 2020. Um, we looked at in this round over 20 oil and gas facilities um, in two primary geographic regions, one being a historic oil field development on BLM land and the other being an area with more new oil and gas development that's southeast of Walden, the county seat. And of these facilities, we identified four that due to the type and the significance of the emissions that we detected, we will be filing complaints on with the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment. So one of these facilities is the D90 Energy Hebron facility. And on the left-hand side of the slide, you'll see a digital photo that's the naked eye view of the top of this tank here. On the right-hand side, you have a GIF, which is a clip from our OGI video showing emissions coming out of those little stacks on the tank. Um, tank emissions are always quite concerning because these are not combusted in any way, so they're just venting directly into the atmosphere. Um, I mentioned the one of the areas we looked at is this historic um, oil field on public land. Um, this is the McCollum field. Um, at one point, someone, I guess, thought it was a good idea to turn this into a tourist attraction and have a self-guided auto tour. Um, this area is interesting because um, it is most of the wells on this in this field are, uh, or all of the wells on this field rather are stripper wells, which means they're low producing wells with a marginal return on investment for the operator. Um, in our two rounds of field work in Jackson County, we've looked at maybe over 20 of the wells in this field, and we have um, filed complaints on or are going to file complaints on a total of four of the wells from which we found emissions near the wellhead. Um, we also looked at a tank battery in this field and found emissions both in October um, and again in this most recent round of field work in May. This is particularly concerning for us because um, there are thousands and thousands of these low producing stripper well um, facilities in the state of Colorado. And so the true extent of the pollution and the emissions from these facilities is just not known. Um, it's something that Earthworks is definitely going to be making a more um, concerted effort to take a look at in the coming rounds of field work this year. And it's something that the COGCC commissioners need to really take into consideration as they embark on the financial assurances rulemaking this year. So I mentioned this tank battery that we've looked at both in October and in May and found emissions from. It's the KP Kaufman Dwinell production battery. Um, you'll see this is the naked eye view here, um, both in October and in May, um, this most recent round of field work, we found emissions at multiple sources on this facility. Um, we filed a complaint in October with the Colorado Department of Public Health and um, Environment. And unfortunately, it uh, very little has changed on the site in the subsequent months as um, we found continued to find emissions from multiple sources. Um, this is just one of the pieces of equipment where we found emissions in May and in October, actually. You'll see these uh, emissions just coming out of the pipe there. Um, and then I mentioned um, in this field, uh, four of the wells that we've looked at had emissions near the wellhead. This is one from May. Um, it's zoomed in really close, but you'll see um, on, from this opening here, this intermittent emissions coming out in the GIF. Um, and then one last note to make before I conclude is we also took a look at some plugged and abandoned sites in and around um, these fields and in Jackson County. And this was the Diversified Operating Corporation's Federal Colmont site. Um, you'll see that while the well is gone, um, they have removed the well, um, there's still a mound of dirt where the well was, there's still signage on site, there's trash on site, and there's no vegetation or grass that's grown back over the dirt and the gravel that's there. Um, unfortunately, this is pretty typical, I would say, of quite a few of the uh, plugged and abandoned sites that we have photographed and looked at, not just in Jackson County, but in other parts of Colorado as well, um, which is a good example, a representative example of how operators will do the absolute bare minimum um, in the absence of, you know, real enforcement, they'll do the bare minimum when it comes to operations on site, whether that is maintenance or that is remediating, remediating a site after a plugging and abandonment. Um, so that is all I have today, um, but you can look forward to much, much more from us in the coming months um, after additional rounds of field work. Thanks.